Hi, my name is Dennis Barnsdorf. I am a composer specialized in trailer music and commercials. And I also have a PhD in music and human-computer interaction. And within my PhD, I composed music, but I also created my own digital musical instrument, which is an electric guitar. And a digital musical controller, which sends MIDI information to my door. Welcome to my private kitchen. This is my studio. I have one main monitor, curved monitor, uh, and a secondary screen, which is my laptop screen. I also have two types of speaker system. One is a three-way speaker system, which is also connected to a subwoofer. And my second is a two-way speaker system, which is on my desk. But I mainly use the three-way speaker system, and my two-way speaker system I only use for A-B testing. I also have a headphone. Uh, I really enjoy to use my headphone as a kind of also a, a, a second or third way checking my mixes and my compositions. Um, I also have, and I think it's very standard in every studio, a master keyboard and a audio interface. And beside of that, I have uh, a few different controllers which I really like and enjoy to use in my workflow. So one is uh, this controller where I can control shape, equalizer and compressor uh, via this controller a, a plugin. And I also have this motorized fader where I control the volume, uh, the panning and the low and high cuts via these motorized faders. And I also have another motorized controller uh, but I don't use this one for volume, I use this one for motorized MIDI CC automation. And then I also have this controller, which is a, uh, a stream deck, and I use this for Cubase shortcuts and articulation shortcuts. And last is this Lemur patch on my iPad. I programmed this on my own, I scripted this, and I use this for voicings and inversion automation and uh, chord progressions and modulations. I have a two system setup. So my main computer, uh, including the door, in this case Cubase, is my MacBook Pro. But I also have a Windows uh, slave computer. Uh, and all my sample libraries, my heavy sample libraries are on my slave computer. So this is my setup. When I'm working on a track for a trailer movie, I most of the time do not work with the moving picture. I do not receive the moving picture. The only thing what I receive is a briefing or a, dis or a description of the trailer. Sometimes they are very precise and very specific, but sometimes it's very vague and very open without any kind of structure or um, pre preferred instrumentation. Um, the tracks are most of the time somewhere between one minute, one and a half minutes and two minutes long. And yeah, so it's a lot of times up to me how I structure the track and what I use for the track. So in short, my work process contains uh, the following steps. I first uh, structure my track, then I create the melodic and harmonic and the rhythmic parts. Um, after that, I create movement in my track through volume automatization, panning, delay or filter automatization. Then I produce my track through shaping, equalization, compression and reverberation and after this I mix, I down mix it to uh, different groups also creating stems and I send the mix and the master to the client. So this is my uh, setup and my workflow. I hope that you enjoyed my video and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>